my YouTube friends. There are a lot of streaming options out there for lots of different types of machines, situations, and scenarios. But if you want to live stream with guests, StreamYard has been the mainstay for a very long time. The problem is that StreamYard keeps getting more and more expensive, it seems like by the month, and they haven't added a new feature in like 10 years. So they're not even trying to get better. Well, what if I told you there's a streaming option out there that not many people talk about that does all the same things that StreamYard does, plus it allows you the opportunity to repurpose your content in-house so you don't even have to do any editing. And the best part is it's text editing, so you can find the clips you want easily, cut them out, set them up exactly how you want, and be ready to upload in no time at all. I mean, the easier you can make these things that you don't want to do, which is editing and creating clips, the better. Have I intrigued you? Well, let me show you how it works. So you know what? Let's get to it! Now there is a link down below in the description to Riverside and they've provided me with a discount code, Michael, which you can use to get 15% off. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. We're gonna take a look at it and I'm gonna show you how epic Riverside's live streaming component is. When you first come into Riverside, you're gonna see all of these AI tools. You're definitely not gonna see those on StreamYard. And you may be thinking, all these tools aren't necessary for live streaming. But I wanna make this perfectly clear. You're not going to grow a channel just live streaming. You absolutely need to make pre-recorded content if you're going to succeed. And the best way to do that is to parse out your live streams. Riverside makes it really easy by giving you all of these tools that can help you. So you never have to leave this platform after you're finished live streaming to create clips that you can just upload directly to all the social media platforms. Now this is an incredible value, but let's go ahead and explore the live stream. So right here, we're gonna just click go live and you're gonna put in the name of the host and uh, you could put I am or I'm not using headphones. Now, if you're gonna have guests, you're gonna be using headphones. In order to get access to all this stuff, you gotta go ahead and click allow access and you wanna give it access to your camera and your microphone and just make sure that these are the correct ones. And then you're gonna go ahead and say, I am using headphones if you're gonna have guests. So once this is all set up, you just click join the studio. All right, so the first thing I need to do is fix this. So what I'm gonna do is go up here and we're gonna go into all settings. And right down here, we're gonna go ahead and click mirror video. And if we go through these settings right here, it's pretty simple. You got your microphone and your camera and your headset that you put in right here. You can use echo cancellation if you don't wanna wear your headphones and you wanna listen through your speakers. In here, you can name your studio and give your information and all that sort of stuff. You can add your logo and design and customize your studio background colors and that sort of stuff right in here if you want to. Here's your recording information. You can set this up exactly how you want to record so your audio sample rate you can have it set up for a countdown timer and to automatically start your recording whenever you live stream we can go in here and set up our live streams now to add any one of these platforms we can do it right here just click on YouTube and you're gonna put in your YouTube stuff and you can see I've already put mine in we can obviously do TikTok, Twitch Twitter or any custom RTMP so if you wanted to go to rumble or something you just have to put in the server and the stream key and you're all set. So these will actually connect directly to them if you like, just by clicking on YouTube and putting in your login information. Then if we go into advanced, you can set up your call quality stuff, whether or not you wanna do the raise hands, studio reactions, so anyone that you have in the studio, as in guests, um, you can set the studio reactions on. Click on audio and you can also remove the studio. So that is what we're gonna find right up here. So down here along the bottom, looks pretty much the same as what you always see you've got your layouts right here very very fun and interesting and cool i mean it's the same as what you get anywhere else uh, you got your go live button right here you can test record or you can start recording and going live obviously if you have your stuff set up up here microphone you can select a new one camera you can select different or new ones speaker you can select your speaker as well so basically they put all those controls down here got a react button so you can just select it you can see a little ghost thingy goes up there so if you've got a guest and they're talking and you don't want to interrupt boom made a great point whatever 
up if you have guests who want to talk they can raise their hand puts it up in the right hand corner so you could see it you've got a layout button right here so you can hide the layouts or show them you can actually do a script and send it to a teleprompter or however you want to do it and it will put it up right here you've got a share feature where you could share your screen or a presentation and we can leave the chat obviously over here on the right pretty much the same as you're going to find in StreamYard as well you got your subscribe or whatever you can put whatever text you want in here there's a countdown and it'll disappear same with all of these you could change the length of the countdown so this one is turned off so it will just stay up there until i click hide and they have a couple of different ways that you could set these up so this is like 20 seconds you can see the countdown you can also just hide it you can create a new one and put your text in here if I want to do like a lower third. So we've got save and show or save for later. We're going to just save that for later. And then we're going to go over here and change some of the features. So we can edit the text. We can customize the colors, duplicate it. Um, so if we go into customize, we can make it large, small, medium. We can change up the color and we can change up the placement. So if we wanted it to be a lower third, we want it on the right. We want it in the middle. We can change all that up. We can change how long it shows. So we're gonna show it for five seconds and we're gonna save and show it. And there it goes, it comes up. You can see it has the countdown, it disappears. We go to people. This is gonna show a list of everybody who's in the live stream at the moment. But you have the ability to mute them, kick them off, all that sort of stuff right over here as well. Um, there's also visual effects here which we can select blur out the background, full blur. You can also upload images for backgrounds or use any of the backgrounds that they have. And of course, all of your guests are going to have access to this as well. So anyone who comes on as a guest can use these as their backdrop. Pretty cool, really simple, works very well. And that's something you can access right here as well. You can also mouse over and mute and unmute right there. You also have a recording info tab, which tells you what you're recording in, your live streaming quality, your frame rate, your sample rate. You can mute everybody. The chat panel works pretty much exactly the same as you've seen on StreamYard. If you're not familiar with StreamYard. Chat comes in here uh, for your live stream or whatever. You can basically just select any of that text and stick it on the screen. So we could show it on the stream. It'll show for 10 seconds or however long you have it set up. This right here will be an image of the platform. So if they're on YouTube or TikTok or whatever, it'll show up as that. Obviously their icon will show up and then it'll disappear. That's what you're going to get with the live stream chat. And then of course we've got studio chat where any of your guests can chat back and forth and communicate behind the scenes without having to interrupt whoever's speaking. You've got your branding, so I can put my logo in here, my brand colors, I can change up my background to whatever I want. We can add an image instead, so we can do all that stuff. If we add an image, obviously we can upload it. Um, that'll change up basically this background right here. So if we change the color, you can see it changes that color that surrounds us right there. So adding an image or whatever. And you got a brand font that you could change the font. And right here, you've got your name style. So the name would be this thing down here in the bottom right hand corner. We can hover over it. We can select small, medium or large. We can add a title and we can change up the style so we can see it better. There's also an overlay feature. So you could select overlays like that. You can actually create your own overlays, which you can upload. Then we have the text, which I already showed you, and media, soundboard stuff that you can use right here. It'll play it on your stream. So you've got cheering and drum roll and clapping and transition stuff. All that is built in right there. Now the cool thing is down here under layout, you can see that they are all hotkeyed. Now let's go ahead and add a person. Now I'm basically gonna simulate a guest because I'm gonna just use my phone. We're gonna take the link and we're gonna put a second person in here. So I can show you a little bit more about how the layout stuff works. You can use this button to invite as well, share the link or invite by voicemail. So you just copy the link out, put it wherever you want and you're all set. All right, so we've got it loaded up on the phone here. Okay, so I know the first thing you're thinking is, man, that camera looks really horrible. And that's normal. It's absolutely fine. Believe me, it'll look perfect on the stream. It just looks that way because it's conserving bandwidth and that sort of stuff. It's perfectly normal. Um, and you can even see up here, it does say actual recording is in much higher quality. They want to make sure 
that you're getting the best quality in the recording and in the stream. And so now when we go over here into people, you could see that we've got some other options. It actually shows me that they're using the front camera and the built-in microphone and all that stuff. I can remove them, I can adjust their microphone, and I can basically hide them or whatever I want to do. The next thing I'm going to do is go down here and click share and we're going to put a screen in here as well. Let's just do the entire screen and I'll share this one. Boom. So now we've got our two screens right here and this one. So you can see that when we load a screen in here, we've got our two cameras. We can change around views and that sort of stuff. We could just stop sharing and this comes back up. When we do that, we can pin different ones to the main camera by changing it up right here. We could flip it back and forth. Uh, so if we want someone else to be in the main spot, pretty awesome stuff. So once you actually do go live and you've recorded some stuff, let me kind of show you what you can do with that. So you can see once we've gone live, the upload is complete, which means it uploaded my footage, but also that footage. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here's our footage right here. And so it already has made for you. So these are kind of layouts and all that stuff where they'll put the two on top of one another, uh, hooks, magic clips that are already clipped out for you, snapshots, so they could do some really cool stuff. Uh, you could create thumbnails, magic clips, all kinds of really, really cool stuff. And that's just what it did for you. So it has the show notes here, a little bit about what we're talking about. We can generate those. We can go into edits and we can edit this from scratch. If we click on that, it's gonna load up our clips. We can bring them in here, we can move them around. We can put them wherever we want. We can embiggen, we can make them smaller. We can go over here and we can see exactly what what uh, what we said. We can highlight that, copy it out, move it, add it to another scene, dub it. You can edit right from here. Put all your stuff together in whatever format you want and you're going to be ready to go. You can see how easy this is to clip out and edit. And that's the beautiful thing about what Riverside does for you. Then you've got exports where you can... Once you create your clip, you can export it. And then you can, of course, share the stuff out to different places. And that's as far as I'm going to go with the editing aspects in this video. Because I've showed you everything you need to know about how you can easily replace StreamYard or any of the other browser-based live streaming tools with Riverside. And for about the same cost, you get access to all these editing features. And... If you are struggling to find an audience with your live stream, you need Riverside. Because I know that you don't want to edit your content. I know you don't want to edit up shorts or videos or anything like that. I totally get it. But if you're going to grow, you kind of have to. And Riverside is the answer. And it costs about the same as the stream yard you're already paying for. So it makes perfect sense to get an all-in-one tool that has all these AI features. Now I think Riverside is an unbelievable deal when you figure that you get access to StreamYard like streaming plus all of the editing and AI tools. But what do you think? Let me know about it down in the comments. And of course, there are links to everything I'm showing you here down below in the description. So don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. And don't forget about the discount code that Riverside has given me Michael, it's going to get you 15% off if you decide that you want to do more than just check it out. Now, I am going to do another video where I show you all those editing features and how you can transform your content into edited videos that you can just upload instantly. And so if you want to see that, you're definitely going to want to subscribe. I've also done videos on editing in this in the past although it was a much older system. And if you want to check those out, just click on this video right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.